Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Routing Box Friday Live. My name is Jonathan Anthon. Um, I'm going to give it a couple minutes for everybody to join and first apologize for my voice. I know it's a little harsh. Uh, been uh, under the weather for the past couple weeks, and uh, so I apologize that I'm not giving you my my full force right now. But uh, hopefully, everything will come across clearly so you can understand what we're talking about. There's some really cool and important stuff to talk about when it comes to your business. So, um, and thank you to everybody. I've had a lot of meetings with you know, new customers and existing customers this week, and um, maybe both face to face and on the phone. And everybody's been very understanding with my uh, lack of being able to speak clearly. So, I really appreciate everybody uh, and your support as I uh, continue to recover here. Hopefully, next week I'll be back to 100% and we'll be good to go. So, Routing Box Friday Live, quick recap of what we do. Every week, uh, those of you who are using Routing Box know that you get a Routing Box uh, Friday newsletter every Friday in your inbox uh, that goes through any new features in Routing Box. Usually, we review one of our existing features and tell you about how it can help your business. Um, and then, Routing Box Friday Live, we also add um, the additional benefit of talking about an industry topic uh, each week. So, uh, if you're a Routing Box customer, again, have all your employees like our page, have them watch this video. There's probably going to be some content that can help your business in some way, at least one of the departments within your business. So uh, have everybody check it out. If you have friends in the business, have them check it out. Make sure that they, uh, they tell us that you sent them, uh, and we'll hook you up with your referral credit based on our referral program. So we want to make sure that we're getting this message to everybody and uh, teaching everybody how we can make their business better um, with routing box or just with some knowledge uh, that we can bring to you. So this week, uh, our the main topic is going to be EDI processing. So EDI, what is that? Electronic data interchange. Uh, what essentially that means is it's a file. Um, it actually is a text file, and it's big, massive characters with some information kind of mixed in. It's sometimes called an X12 format, but uh, essentially it's an electronic file that a computer can read. Um, so what does it mean for us for transportation? It's really all about billing. That's where it is very commonly used. So in terms of EDI, what you'll see is you get a your system. So if you're using routing box or MedBatch, you have your systems, which are sending a billing file over to your payer. Um, sometimes that's referred to as an 837. Again, it could be an X12 file. Sometimes people call it HIPAA 5010, all sorts of different names for this file. But that file goes over to your payer, and your payer processes that um, and then learns kind of uh, all the information for your billing instead of taking it off of uh, you know, a portal that you entered it into or a spreadsheet. They're taking it off of that file and the computer's reading it for them. Um, then generally the payer is going to respond with an 835, which is your remittance file. So that's, hey, what I, what I get paid for, um, what did I get uh, denied, why did it get denied, what partial paid, etc. Um, so those are things that a lot of people know about. Um, this 837 and this 835, this cycle of information going to your payer and back from your payer. So one thing that people don't know a lot about are some of the other tools uh, that you can use from an EDI system standpoint. So another one that can come from your systems, whether it's a, you know, a, a system like Routing Box or MedBatch, or if it's maybe a clearinghouse, if you're using Ability or MDON, et cetera, um, one thing is that you can actually do eligibility checking as well. So your system can actually send an eligibility request to your payer, who then can actually respond back to you with eligibility. Um, so those can be sent on, in an automated way with the computer so that you can be, it can be batched into reporting, um, you can get, so like our customers, for example, know our MedBatch customers, they actually get a daily report of the eligibility of all of their Medicaid passengers, uh, letting them know anybody who's changed, anybody who might be ineligible, so that they're not transporting ineligible uh, passengers. So EDI can not, is not only billing, it can also do eligibility, which is cool. The other cool thing that it can do is you don't actually have to wait for this 835 file to find out what's going on with your claims. You can actually send a request via EDI to the payer um, for claim status, and the payer will actually respond with whether the claim has been approved or denied. Um, when you can do that and if you can do that does depend on the payer, but most payers are supporting uh, those types of files now. Um, so for example, again, if you're using MedBatch, you know that you get your responses from New York State the very next day. Um, whereas, you know, if you're not using MedBatch, you can take up to three weeks to get that remittance file. So, uh, the, the big message here is EDI does a lot of awesome things for you to help your business. Let's talk about kind of what this does. Eligibility. I can make sure that I'm not transporting people who are ineligible, or maybe someone's eligibility expired and they don't know. I can help that person get recertified so that I can get paid, so I can make sure I'm not flushing away that claim money uh, unnecessarily. Those claim statuses, I find out about denials the next day, not 
two, three, four, five weeks down the road. So I can start addressing those analysis, figuring out what's going on while it's fresh in people's minds. Um, and so I can get paid on that claim faster. Obviously, the faster I get it in in the proper manner to get it approved, faster I can get that claim uh, and get that money to improve my cash flow. So these little tools can go a long way in helping your business operate more efficiently and improving your cash flow. Um, as always, with uh, any information we cover on Routing Box Friday, if you want to learn more about it, you want to learn more about what Routing Box does with this stuff or MedBatch, uh, please give us a call. You can reach us, again, existing customers or potential uh, new folks that, that don't do business with us now. You can reach us at 716-202-9121. You can comment on this video. You can send us a Facebook message, send us an email, go to our website, whatever is easiest for you. Um, we'd love to talk to you about how we can help. Um, again, that number is 716-202-9121. Um, this week in Routing Box, um, we've released a couple features in regards to actually uh, visibility to invoicing. Um, so if you are the person that handles your invoicing um, and pays your bills for, for MedBatch and Routing Box, there's some great new tools in there. We're going to ask you to actually reach out. We want to make sure we're talking to the right people. So we're going to ask you to reach out to our support team um, and ask them about that. But it'll really give you uh, much more... Uh, visibility and, and tools to manage your invoicing with us and make sure that uh, you know if you have updated your payment information all that information that's that's a lot easier to do so please reach out to the support team again that same number 716-202-9121 we'd love to show you those tools to make things a little bit easier on you um, and uh, we'd love to talk to you a little bit more about EDI processing and how it can impact your business so thanks for watching uh, Running Box Friday live this week uh, again, every Friday, 4.30, we'll advertise what the topic is ahead of time as well. So if it's something that's important to you, you can jump on board. But thank you for your time, taking the time to watch today, and we will catch you next week.